Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Awan, a diagnostic radiologist at Beaumont Health, and I'm going to answer some common questions about mammograms today. All women are at risk for breast cancer. While family history accounts for 5 to 10% of breast cancer, the remaining percent is random and can affect any woman. Every woman starting at age 40 should get annual screening mammograms if you have a first degree relative such as a mom or sister 10 years before their diagnosis. Screening mammograms are for those women that have no current breast symptoms. It's an annual mammogram that's done to detect breast cancer. If you have pain, a lump, or other symptoms in the breast, that's when you should be getting a diagnostic mammogram. Diagnostic mammograms are also used to follow up findings that were detected on the first screening mammogram. While everybody has a different pain threshold, mammograms only cause a temporary discomfort. Compression, or flattening of the breast, is something that is necessary to get the highest quality image. However, it only lasts for a few seconds and does not harm the breast. Early detection is key. Breast cancer is the most treatable when it's detected early. The way that we're able to do that is having an annual screening mammogram that allows us, the radiologists, to be able to compare every single year and make those really subtle changes to find cancers when they're just beginning. So if you haven't already made your appointment, call your doctor and get an appointment for your mammogram.